The icon in the top right hides a lot of complexity. This is actually a folder, and it contains a whole bunch of macros for rolling dice. You can see I've got these little icons, um, D for disadvantage, A for advantage, and no little flag in the corner for a standard roll for the D20. Um, and you see it has this big crazy thing in here using um, the super macro from Barrator. Uh, and the reason for all this complexity is because uh, in order to roll these dice, it actually has to target a specific field uh, inside of Roll20. Um, so the easiest way to do that is using the advanced, um, uh, the advanced uh, keyboard shortcuts. Um, you can actually get to it from anywhere. So it turns out if you press Escape, you'll exit whatever text field you might be in, and you press C, and that takes you to the chat tab. And you press C again, and that takes you into the chat box. Then it does two backspaces, because if you happened to start this sequence while you are the, in the chat box, then you'll actually press C and then C, and you'll have typed a C. And just in case I do backspace twice, I don't know, maybe there's some way for that other C to also get in there. Um, that way you know that the text box is clear. Well at least unless you already had something else typed in there. Uh, then it types slash R and then D20 and then enter and then escape just to exit the field. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, have a token selected or something like I'm running the game. Let's say I'm on, uh, on this tab. Um, and if I press the 20 here, I roll a D20. If I press advantage, I roll two D20 and it'll take the higher. If I press disadvantage, it rolls 2d20 and takes the lower. And you can see the macros for that right here if you want to pause and copy. But I'm going to be putting all of this in the news post. Then over here, there is a macro for rolling a d100. Oops, I need to actually have roll 20 selected. I can do that. Uh, and then these buttons, you'll see there's, these all these buttons are just numbers. Um, these are for the other dice, and since it's common to need to roll more than one of them, they actually contain a roll query. Um, so if I go ahead and press one of these, like let's say D8, you'll see that I get a thing that pops up and it's asking me for a number. Um, so I can either type in a number, or I've actually got a whole bunch of convenience buttons here for the numbers 1 through 10. So if I was rolling, let's say, 3D8, like maybe it's a uh, Paladin's Smite, I'll just press the 3, and I get 3d8. So that way, um, what do you need? 10d4? That fast. And that's the dice roller.